I actually remember falling in love with sneakers when I was probably like 10. I have everything from pro kids all the way to Chuck Taylors, the kangaroos. I have every type of sneaker that's out. And I'm just a lover of shoes. This is an ostrich print, has leather laces. Even to this day, I still love my sneakers. I still clean them when I take them off. I wanted to create a brand that was gonna be respected by people. It's one of the first sneakers that I released on my own. This is called the Fight Night. Shoes gave me a career. Shoes made it where I, I can have a job that's respectable. I feel like sneakers are art. It has pony fur on the side of them. When you walk into a room, every single person that's in that room is gonna look at your feet. So if you're not the kind of person that really wants that much attention, I don't think this is the brand for you. Back when I was in high school, I used to be a rap artist. The main thing that I always wanted to do was to look different than any other person out there. That was just all part of our moniker when it came time for going on stage. So that's when I fell in love with fashion and fell in love with sneakers. Unfortunately, I ended up getting incarcerated and I didn't have anything but time. The one thing that really, really kept me away from focusing on doing jail time was thinking about fashion. One day I just decided to draw a sneaker. I was showing a couple guys and they were like, oh, you drew that? And I was like, yeah. So it kind of took a life of its own at that point. My mom was just like, you know, you're gonna have to figure out what you're gonna do when you get home because since you got a criminal record, you may not be able to find a job that easily. So it was a combination of everything that made me sit down and start thinking like, maybe I should try to come up with my own shoe. This one is called the Abacheni Camarillo. It has a Nubuck leather suede and then it has the python print. I remember getting shoes when I was in junior high school, high school. The first thing I would do when I got home was like scrub my sneakers and put different color laces in them. This is a very unique shoe. I have like the leather right here, you have a zipper. Bungie came from all the ups and downs that was going on in my life. It was like one day I'm out on tour, I'm rapping, I'm doing all these major things, and then I go to jail. And then I come home from jail, I'm back out doing it again, then I go back to jail. And then I'm back out doing it, and it was just non-stop. Abacheni is just another word of saying apparel. So it's really bungee apparel. This sneaker is very unique because of all the different prints that is on here. That's why we call it the Kaleidoscope. When it came time for us being rap artists, when we went out there and we hit the stage, you know, we had to look like a celebrity. It makes you look at them like they're on a different level just because of their apparel. So that's pretty much how I always looked at it. And I wanted to make sure that the regular civilian that buys our shoes, they look like a celebrity when they walk around. I kind of went into it like, I'm going to design this shoe. I'm going to make it the artistic shoe that I know that I can make. And I'm going to make it to my liking. And then it was like, once it was complete, it had ostrich, gator. This is made out of suede and out of stingray. That's what all the little bumps are. Back then, there's no way that I would have been able to say that I was going to be the CEO of a sneaker company. And like right now, I'm so thankful for it because now like I feel good when I walk down the street and I see someone with a pair of my shoes on. That's much more passionate for me than it would have been for my music. Those shoes gave me a career. Shoes made it where I, I can have a job that's respectable. So I feel like sneakers definitely changed my life.